Hello everyone, this is Jared from Gamer Guides and we are winding down with the final boss fight of Ratchet and Clank, Dr. Nefarious. This particular fight can be quite challenging, as there is a lot going on and the arena is a bit unorthodox. You start out on a small platform where we'll have a nanotech crate as well as some ammo crates and even a refueling station. Yes, you have your jetpack in this battle and you'll definitely need it throughout the whole thing. There are other platforms in the arena which all contain the same as the above with one little twist that will be mentioned later. As for Dr. Nefarious, he goes through multiple phases throughout the battle but only starts with three attacks. The first one happens if you get really close to him where he'll unleash a shockwave that will both push you back and damage you similar to Mrs. Zircon. The second attack involves rapid fire shots that unlike Quark will home in on you as you move and can be very difficult to dodge if you're on the ground. It's definitely easier to dodge as if dodge it at, dodge them as you move around in the air with the jetpack. The final move of the first phase involves Nefarious shooting out a giant laser that he will sweep across the arena. Once he starts firing and moving it, the laser will stay at one elevation and it doesn't move, so it's very simple to dodge by either flying above or below it. In all, Dr. Nefarious starts out rather simple, but gets annoying and more complicated once you get his health to 80%. This will cause, this will cause him to fly towards the dwarf store and start absorbing it, recovering his health by 10% before crashing onto the platform, becoming incapacitated for a few seconds. Note that if you get hit at all from when he crashes onto the platform, you will be instantly killed no matter how much health you have. So it's best to fly off to either side of the platform until he lands. After a few second break, Nefarious will get up, split the platform in half, and toss it into the star, essentially removing it from the arena. That means you're going to need to relocate to another one of the platforms, but there will be some company on them now. Three warbots, all of whom have their own jetpacks, will be occupying each of the platforms around the arena now. So you want to quickly fly to your next station and take out the warbots, noting that some might respawn until Nefarious arrives. As soon as Dr. Nefarious arrives at your second platform, the second phase of the battle will begin, which is simi very similar to the first, except he has a new move. You will see him tossing some mines onto the platform, which look harmless at first. The problem with these mines is that if you get close enough to them, they'll suck you in, and suck you in until they, until you hit them, which can cause some big damage. The easiest way to take out the mines is to toss a proton drum onto the platform, though a single hit from any weapon will trigger their explosion. Once again. Nefarious will fly to the dwarf store at 40% health and recover another 10% then destroy the platform you operated from before going into the final phase. This is definitely the most dangerous phase as the move he gains during it can prove to be quite annoying. He will release circular mines into the air that will home in on you until you destroy them or dodge them enough, it seems. The big problem with these is that there are a lot of them and you need to be careful of Nefarious' other attacks. The best weapon to use for this is the Pixelizer since you can wait until they get close enough to shoot more than one at a time. Basically, the key points of this fight are keeping an eye on Nefarious at all times to know what move he was using, quickly taking out the Warbots when moving to another platform, and restocking on ammo and jetpack fuel when you have breaks in the action or need it. Thanks for watching, and if you have any feedback or questions, leave them in the comments below.
many people are about to die, it's not even fun. Well, make a little. Running the show, how deliciously pathetic! 